important warnings and late breaking weather information. So when the potential of a tropical storm arises, depend on the professionals at the Weather Channel. And stay tuned so you'll know if there's an immediate threat to you. The Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. And now it's time for the Michelin Drivers Report, brought to you by Michelin and your participating Michelin dealers. Well, if you live in western Ohio, that seems to be where the most severe flooding is going on tonight. If you're out on the roads and you are advised not to drive through a certain area, don't. Don't even mess with it. We've had so much rain between, say, Dayton and right around Lake Erie, actually, all the way up the interstate toward the Ohio Turnpike, Sandusky County, with a flood warning at the present time. Also, some rough weather here on I-94 or just north of I-94 here in northeastern Minnesota and Wisconsin. Notice this blow up on our infrared satellite imagery. Big thunderstorms now, some of them weaker ones through the Twin Cities, but to the north up toward St. Cloud and out toward Wausau, Wisconsin, severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until 8 o'clock in the morning, so that could be troublesome for our morning commute. And some big thunderstorms here. Most of that activity has ended along I-64. So we've got some active weather. Coming up next, all the skinny on the wet and the sweat. Plus, we'll check your weekend forecast next, right here on the Weather Channel. It's a breakthrough that brings us to a new level of performance. In the rain, in the snow, it even saves gas. And now through July 31st, the tire engineered to take the world's finest luxury performance touring sedans through just about any weather helps you predict it. With this Oregon scientific weather forecasting station, free when you buy a set of four MXV4 tires, Michelin's new energy tires with radial XSE technology. It's science that goes beyond magic. Find Michelin tires at this dealer near you because so much is riding on your tires. Because it only takes one drop to make a difference. Watch the Weather Channel, weather you can always turn to. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel.
tuned in just at the right time, my friend. We've got the forecast for your weekend coming up in just a minute. I'm Dave Schwartz. Also, tonight in part two of our series, Raging Waters, we look at the devastation caused by flash flooding. Vivian Brown has more in this report. and fast and furious. Waters began to rage within hours, even minutes of excessive rainfall. The force of a flash flood can demolish anything in its path, even rearrange a landscape. Flash flooding can be produced by various meteorological conditions. The Big Thompson Canyon flood of 1976 is a classic example of a flash flood caused by slow moving thunderstorms. Saturday, July 31st, the canyon was packed with nearly 3,500 people, most there to celebrate Colorado's 100 years of statehood. Early that evening, dark storm clouds built over the Rockies. Many thunderstorms born over these mountains move eastward. However, this storm system stayed in place. It unleashed more than 12 inches of rain in four and a half hours. The steep slopes absorbed little of the rain. A 19-foot wall of water tore through the canyon's east end, carrying with it parts of cars, buildings, and other debris. The lights are still on. There was people on them, and you couldn't even get close to this because of the, all the debris coming down. There's no way to help any of them. No way. No way. And you couldn't even hear them scream, thank God, because the roar was so bad. In the thundering deluge, 139 people died. Some drowned, but most were battered by boulders and debris. The Big Thompson Canyon flood prompted changes in flood warnings and preparedness nationwide. It also led to new research in flash flood forecasting. Meteorologists have learned that many flash floods occur when a series of thunderstorms moves repeatedly over the same area, saturating the ground. It's a pattern commonly referred to as training, with a signature on radar called train echoes. When training occurs in urban areas, flooded streets often become swift moving rivers, and drainage systems become overwhelmed by the sheer volume of water. The results are often deceiving. Sadly, many people die while trying to drive their cars through the high waters. Others barely escape. Vivian Brown, The Weather Channel. Floodwaters are rising tonight in the state of Ohio. Between 6 to 12 inches of rain have fallen here in Montgomery County. Make that Miami County, Ohio. Flash flood warnings were issued for several hours in the afternoon Tuesday, Mercer and Shelby counties. And we've got warnings tonight for Montgomery, Preble, Shelby, Seneca, Miami, and Clark counties. We've got some evacuations going on right here in the Buckeye State. Lots of moisture, an upper level disturbance, and a frontal boundary sitting right in here. That's the reason for all the flooding. It looks like with this upper level disturbance still hanging around, more showers are possible during the day on Wednesday. Right now we got that flash flood watch in effect for the entire state, plus the warnings for the individual counties because flooding is either going on or expected very shortly. And until this front moves on out and the upper level disturbance moves away, all helping to get the air rising, and getting the clouds to form with all the showers, slow movers. We're going to have more to deal with here on Wednesday. High pressure hanging tough on the East Coast, keeping it beautiful. Already in the 50s in suburban Philadelphia right now, up in Will make that willow grow. With special live reports, watches and warnings, and late breaking weather information. So when the potential of a tropical storm arises, depend on the professionals at the Weather Channel. And stay tuned so you'll know if there's an immediate threat to you. The Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. And now it's time for the Michelin Drivers Report, brought to you by Michelin and your participating Michelin dealers. Well, flash flood watches are out for a large portion of central Kentucky. Bourbon County around the Lexington area in a flash flood watch until 5 a.m. this morning. If you're traveling across Interstate 75, be on the lookout for some heavy rains in this area. Although thunderstorms are starting to decrease at this time, but still the flash flood watch is in effect until 5 a.m. Now for the rest of the country, 
in through Illinois, Missouri, some thunderstorms now moving in your area. May see some heavy rainfall, maybe up to an inch of rain in through Illinois. These thunderstorms might, by the morning hours, make it into Alabama and even through northeastern Mississippi. Thunderstorms diminishing across the southwest with some of that monsoonal moisture available. Thunderstorms developed in the evening hours now starting to taper off. And some of the showers moving into the Pacific Northwest. Seattle, you could see a shower this morning, so you may want to take the umbrella when you're heading out to work. The severe threat, St. Louis, you're in severe through this morning, and no fog expected. The afternoon hours, we could see some more thunderstorms. Next, the tropical update. It's a breakthrough that brings us to a new level of performance. In the rain, in the snow, it even saves gas. And now through July 31st, the tire engineered to take the world's finest luxury performance touring sedans through just about any weather helps you predict it. With this Oregon Scientific Weather Forecasting Station, free when you buy a set of four MXV4 tires, Michelin's new energy tires with radial XSE technology. It's science that goes beyond magic. Find Michelin tires at this dealer near you because so much is riding on your tires. Because it only takes one drop to make a difference. Watch the Weather Channel, weather you can always turn to. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. Because it only takes one drop to make a difference. Watch the Weather Channel, weather you can always turn to. And let's check on some severe weather activity. Look at this, the flooding rains that have plagued western sections of Ohio moved to the east today, causing problems west of Cleveland in Vermilion. Across the area, homeowners dealt with flooding problems both outside 
and inside, the rain pushed storm drains in the region to the limit and forced some business owners to put on their galoshes and move things to higher ground. Intense thunderstorms ravaged parts of El Paso last night. The storms spared human life but claimed just about everything else. Mobile homes were demolished and trucks overturned. Scattered showers and thunderstorms could happen again as we continue to watch thunderstorms that time of this time of year in that area of the country. Let's show you what else is going on tonight in the tropics. We have tropical depression number eight that developed that developed this afternoon about five o'clock Eastern time. Here is where it is, southeast of Brownsville, Texas, and it's uh, continuing to get a little bit better organized this evening. Uh, it's actually south-southeast of Brownsville, Texas. It's pushing toward the west-northwest, likely to move inland someplace here in northern Mexico during the day tomorrow. Uh, the tropical depression is getting a little bit better organized, so sometime tonight or tomorrow before it moves inland, it could become a minimal tropical storm. And tropical storm warnings are in effect from Baffin Bay, Texas, southward to La Pesca. North of Baffin Bay up to Matagorda Bay there, because of the easterly flow and tides increasing, we could see, we could see some coastal flooding, so a coastal flood watch has been issued for that area. Let's show you what else you can expect, of course, with this, some rainy travel elsewhere across the country. Rainy travel scattered here and there. Up here in parts of uh, Kentucky, we've seen some big thunderstorms that have been slowly moving south all day long. We've had reports of some gusty winds and even some hail reports in Iowa and Missouri and Illinois down through Indiana over the last uh, few hours. In the meantime, our forecast calls for more showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Here's what would, if it becomes a tropical storm, be Gabrielle as it pushes into the northern Mexican coast. To the east, the nice weather is heading out, and as high pressure retreats, we'll see the southerly flow, the moisture return. So guess what? Richmond and the Norfolk area and Washington, D.C., you've had a little break from the 90-degree heat, but it's coming back. And when it comes back, it's going to be sticking around for a while, unfortunately. In the northwest, here comes a front dropping southeast. Uh, a little bit cooler weather with it. Yes, we have that. And the onshore flow, summertime almost seems over with here in Seattle, but uh, I'm sure it's not quite over with. And the moisture here in South Texas, that's going to be the biggest problem if you live in El, not in El Paso, but in Brownsville, Harlingen, McAllen, on over into the South Padre Island. We're likely to see, likely to see heavy rainfall. The heaviest rainfall, though, will be up in this area, down to the south and east, and as we head into the Pacific Northwest. And look at this, lots of heat, lots of heat. Unfortunately, if you're tired of the warm weather in the Plain States, it's going to be sticking around for a while. And it's going to be building east and actually getting warmer here in Texas and Oklahoma, on up through Kansas. Lots of 100s, and the humidity levels are high. And that's something we're watching. The significant heat wave that hit Chicago earlier in the year, humidity levels were really high. They've actually been kind of high here in Iowa. We'll have to watch that area to see if it drifts on toward the east. And here into the Ohio River Valley, here comes the warmer weather. Also the warm temperatures up here. New York City might not might not see the 90s, but down in Philadelphia and D.C. and Baltimore, Richmond and the Norfolk area, Raleigh too, looks like we'll see the 90 degree temperatures coming on in. And the heat is with us into the Sunday and Monday time frame. Tell you what, this weekend might be a good idea to head to the lakes. So the lake water temperatures and the rivers and the swimming pools are getting pretty warm. Not here in the northwest, the northern Rockies. After the heat of earlier this week, it is getting cooler, and it's going to be staying that way even as we head into Monday with some 60s, 60s poking in across North Dakota and Montana, and the typically hot spots here in the deserts of the southwest. All right, here we go. Precipitation, generally dry here from California into most of Arizona. But the mountains and some of the valleys will see showers and thunderstorms. The monsoon, it's the seasonal wind shift. The wind uh, we are I couldn't have said it better myself. Get Sprint's low international rates and up to 100 minutes free. Call now, 1-800-227-2394.
want to travel, watch the five-day business planner here on the Weather Channel at 20 minutes after every hour. You get a comprehensive national report. You watch the local forecast coming up next only on the Weather Channel. The forecast we're going to find some relief. I believe some of that video out of Ohio was actually the Ohio State Fair in Columbus. Fairgoers having to deal, it seems like, either with rain or with hot temperatures ever since the fair began. Uh, we will see a brief cool down, though, if you uh, want to head out to the fair there in Columbus, but it will be brief, and I'll talk more about that in just a moment. There is our line of showers and storms continuing on into Monday morning. Behind the front, some cooler, somewhat drier air, and definitely some relief, but scattered showers and storms ahead of it, and most of the precipitation is associated with that area of low pressure in the frontal system across the uh, upper Midwest. There's a look at it now as we check out the 70s here ahead of the front and much cooler, kind of crack open the window kind of weather over the nighttime hours heading into the upper Midwest tonight. Very, very nice. You can shut the air conditioners off for a change. But uh, daytime heating, 90s all across the Great Lakes, the southeast, even on into the mid-Atlantic. And we're going to find that similar trend tomorrow, or I should say on into Tuesday. 80s, though, will stretch into the Great Lakes region, cool you off a bit there, but still hot even on into southern New England. And then the heat builds back in as we head on into Thursday. So Tuesday and Wednesday, a break for you folks in the Great Lakes and the Northeast. But by Thursday, warming back up again and staying hot looks like at least to start out the weekend. Isolated showers and thunderstorms, and that's really the stories we had through time, Wednesday on into Thursday, and even as we work our way on to Friday, a few areas may see some relief from the heat in the east with a few scattered showers, but the big news is really going to be what is Felix going to do and the hot, hot weather returning to the east. Just take it easy out there. That's right. Two big stories we're going to be concentrating on. Keep it tuned here to the Weather Channel. We'll keep you advised. Coming up, we're going to take a look at Europe, so stay with us. Concerned about your family's safety? Then note that Subaru Legacy Way to experience the beauty of all-wheel drive. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. We're coming today to experience the beauty of all-wheel drive. This number for local details. If you can't buy... And international weather is sponsored by crossing the Atlantic Ocean for quite some time, most of the last week. This is Felix, and we'll give you the coordinates as of the last advisory by the Hurricane Center. At that time, Felix was centered at 32.9 north, 68.1 west, centered 460 miles east southeast east of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. Winds have come down a little, 80 miles per hour, and that is really good news. We would not w have wanted or the original Felix, the massive, tremendously powerful hurricane that it was to hit the coast of the United States. It's going to be bad enough as it is, but at least it's only about half as big as it was a few days ago. Uh, pressure up to 968 millibars actually has risen a little bit, and Felix has weakened a little bit as we've moved through the overnight hours. And what's caused that? Well, we had a little weak area of low pressure off of the coast there of the Carolinas and Georgia. That is moving to the southwest. Now, a couple of things uh, these upper lows can do. One is they can weaken storms, and two, they can tend to steer them. Had this upper low hung around a little bit longer, Felix may have been steered a little bit more to the north, and it would have weakened a little bit. Because the area of low pressure in the upper atmosphere is moving away, down this away, uh, it's going to let Felix move a little more of a westward trajectory, and it should strengthen just a little bit over the Gulf Stream. It's not going to become a massive hurricane, but if the winds came up even 10 or 15 miles per hour, I wouldn't be surprised. That's about as big as it could get. The other thing that could steer Felix would be a trough to the north. That's a lot weaker than anticipated earlier in the week, so it looks like that's not going to happen. So Felix will not get pushed by any of these forces. The general steering current, therefore, is basically to the west 
or the west-northwest, which would send Felix basically in the vicinity of North Carolina, give or take a little. As if you know this year, you've been tracking hurricanes, they can vary a little bit from their course. But this is the general trend. And of course, uh, at the general rate of speed that it is now, it could make landfall as early as late tomorrow. So you want to be uh, praised of the situation, keep track of the Weather Channel for any changes. Felix underwent a lot of problems. It encountered a couple of days ago a big trough in the upper atmosphere, which really attacked this thing, uh, pulled away the uh, strong eye wall and sheared it a little bit. It made a little bit of a comeback yesterday, and fortunately, the brunt of the storm stayed south of Bermuda. Then it encountered a little bit of a problem with that upper low this morning. That's moving out of the way. Now, Felix. Looks like it's coming back just a little bit, but again, nowhere near the intensity that it once was. And uh, of course, with the winds coming around the storm uh, onshore, we could see a lot of beach erosion, especially from the Carolinas uh, on the north side of the storm up through Virginia, even on up into New Jersey as well. So keep in mind uh, that that situation will be with us and of course we're anticipating some uh, tropical storm warnings and perhaps even I mean hurricane warnings rather we have those from Chicoteague Island all the way to Little River Inlet and Hurricane Watch down to Odisto Beach and Cape Hamilton so as you can see uh, there's kind of a wide margin for error here anytime a, a storm gets under a big ridge of high pressure in the upper atmosphere its steering winds are very very light there's no big jet stream like the extra tropical lows have to move so sometimes these uh, fluctuate a little bit so if you live in any of the warned areas please stay tuned to the weather channel of course the surf has been up quite a bit in the Carolinas and actually on up into New Jersey uh, right on through the period especially at high tide of the coastal flood and a hurricane even of this stature uh, the water is just going to come right over the coastal barriers and uh, on into the coastal highways as well probably causing some travel problems uh, especially out on the barrier islands so keep that in mind as well a pretty strong tropical wave north of South America still quite far south you know sometimes when these hurricanes get so big as Felix was at one time it steals a lot of the energy from the atmosphere so you don't get anything uh, following it uh, usually that's the case but we'll watch that uh, pretty strong wave north of South America as it moves toward the islands and this is certainly capable of producing a whole lot of rain and could it develop into something more well it could come into a more favorable area down the road a piece so we'll keep that in mind as well as it continues to go to the west quick look at the forecast we'll show you what's happening this cold front will stall a little bit of rain along the front perhaps from st louis toward chicago here comes the hurricane in the general direction of the north carolina coast could make landfall later tomorrow. Of course, the strongest side would be up here, so even around Virginia Beach, you're going to feel the effects of Felix. Stay tuned. Also, stay tuned. We'll show you some travel problems coming up. Find out the conditions before you get on the road. Watch the Michelin Driver's Report. Following you. Coming up in just a moment. Something happens when you read the Wall Street Journal every business day. You start seeing opportunities where you never saw them before. See for yourself. Subscribe now to the Wall Street Journal. The journal keeps you right at the heart of what's going on in business. Call now for the journal and get your free guide to planning your financial future. Facts you need to start planning a secure future right now. Get 10 weeks of the Wall Street Journal for just $38 and get the guide free. Call now toll free. 800-626-8500. That's 800-626-8500. CLR dissolves lime. CLR dissolves calcium. CLR unclogs shower heads. CLR cleans rust stains. CLR cleans hard water stains. CLR does the impossible. CLR, the product guaranteed to be the best household cleaner you've ever used or you get your money back. CLR is available at Walgreens, Ace, Winn-Dixie, Eckert, Kmart, True Value, Kroger, and leading stores everywhere. For West Coast info to keep you in the know, watch the Pacific Update, only on the Weather Channel, weather you can always turn to. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast, coming up next, only on the Weather Channel.
Coming up in a moment, we'll be checking out the forecast for the remainder of your work week. But right now, it's time for the Business Traveler's Forecast, which is sponsored by Just For Men Gel, for that hard-to-color gray in mustaches and beards. Beards. Brush in, rinse out. Just five minutes. Well, she's got to notice me. To jeopardize your plans for success. Tune in to the five-day business plan following your local forecast right here on the Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast coming up next only on the Weather Channel. Quickly along the North Carolina coast, today thousands of residents and tourists were ordered to evacuate the areas of Dare County and also Ocracoke Island. Now these are scenes shot earlier today on Belmar Beach in New Jersey. Check out the large swells coming on in. And once again, beaches are shut in New Jersey as well as up towards Long Island and even reports of beaches shut as far north as Cape Cod. These are scenes yesterday from the Bermuda area. So far we've had reports of about a third of the island without electricity. The airport, by the way, is still shut down. And once again, there's still some pretty good wind out there, but it looks like now Bermuda is starting to improve as the winds are now gusting only to about 30 miles per hour. Here's our latest on Felix. Felix as of 5 p.m. at 33.3 north, 69.7 west, or about 360 miles east, southeast of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. The winds have not been bumped up. They're still 80 miles per hour, and movement off to the west-northwest at 16 miles per hour if it were to continue at that rate of speed, it would be on land within about 24 hours. However, computer models suggesting it will slow down some as it comes on in, so we may not see a landfall, a true landfall, until about, uh, say, dark tomorrow night, maybe even thereafter. Pressure now about 965 millibars or 28.50 inches. Here are your hurricane warnings. And again, this hurricane warning running from Chincoteague all the way down to the Little River Inlet, including all of North Carolina and all of the Hampton Roads area. Hurricane watch farther down to Edisto Beach. And by the way, there is a tropical storm warning now in effect from Chincoteague northward to the Manasquan Inlet. We feel pretty confident it will continue moving west. Our high is kind of bridging from the mainland out to the Atlantic. Nothing to allow it to bump on up or to kick on out, so we do think it's going to continue to work its way westbound. And again, for the folks in the hurricane warning area, we are expecting hurricane force winds of better than 74 miles per hour within the next 24 hours. Let's show you how it looks on the satellite picture now. Here again is Hurricane Felix moving to the west, northwest at 16 miles per hour. Very quiet today, a little wind on shore. Definitely want to get the uh, final preparations done today, probably before it gets dark on the uh, Outer Banks, Highway 12 will likely flood probably before daybreak tomorrow morning. That is the main road out. Here's a zoom in. You can see there's still a developing eye wall. The eye itself, though, kind of shrouded by some cirrus clouds. And let's get you one more perspective, the color enhanced picture. Now, we want to note the oranges and the reds. This is where there's more vertical development of our storm. And earlier, you can see there was indications of an eye. Then it kind of went away. And now it looks like it may be starting to come back again and it's still moving off towards the west-northwest at about 16 miles per hour. It will be tracking over warm water. It may strengthen up a little more overnight tonight. Another weather event making news today is the heat. 500. Take a good edge on the weather that affects you. Watch the local forecast coming up next, only on the Weather Channel.
The 3M Filtrate Microparticle Air Filter outperforms all other one-inch filters. We're going to see uh, very high and high readings in the west on through the south, back to the southeast, and on into the northeast. The only areas with low readings will be up around the Great Lakes into the northern plains and, and the extreme Pacific Northwest. So any of these areas where we see these high readings, you want to make sure to take the necessary precautions to protect your skin. Limit your time outdoors if it's all possible because when we see readings this high, it can be very dangerous for your skin. The grass pollen count is going to be uh, in the moderate level from the Pacific Northwest all the way back down to Texas. Also in the Northeast, we'll see moderate levels. No high readings across the country. As far as our mold spores, well, they're going to be fairly high across a good chunk of the center of the country from the Great Lakes back down to the Gulf Coast and all the way out to the Rockies with uh, moderate ranges in the fringes of the country. Well, stay tuned. Your hometown forecast is next. We'll also continue to keep you updated with the latest on Felix. Because it only takes one drop to make a difference. Watch the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. Sun, snow, rain. Best call 1-800-413-2992. ERA, first in service. about to travel watch the five-day business planner here on the weather channel at 20 minutes after every hour you get making some landfall expectedly tomorrow night sometime now for the kicker Color Guard cheer. There's no better guard against colors that run. This evening's weather is sponsored by Mighty Dog Canned Dog Food. It makes your dog a mighty dog. All right, the Mighty Dog days are here, I guess. Apalachicola, 103. Macon, 102. Auburn, Alabama, there in the plains of Alabama. Opelika, I'm sure, about 100 as well. Check out Atlanta, Georgia, 102. That's as hot as we have been in a long time, and I think that's very close to an all-time August record high. Charleston, South Carolina, the battery baking again at 100. Plenty of 90s at this hour, and we're talking about middle and upper 90s in many cases. From Dallas to St. Louis to Louisville, Knoxville, Gatlinburg, not much relief there in Gatlinburg either. Have to get way up in the mountains to find that cooler air. Check out Atlanta right now, checking in at 100. 99, a little rock, 86, but it's very sticky in Chicago. Stickier today than yesterday, 83 in New York, throwing that humidity into the equation and it gets ugly. 107 now in St. Louis, 109 ghastly degrees in Atlanta as well as Montgomery, Alabama. And our current map showing there's a front but it's way to your north. We'll update Hurricane Felix next. Mighty Dog presents Sam. Now that she's over seven, there's new Mighty Dog Senior, specially formulated with 25% less fat and extra nutrients to meet her needs. It makes your dog a Mighty Dog. Take a good look through new Transitions Comfort Lenses. The new lightweight plastic prescription lenses with a special tint that lightens and darkens as the light changes. The only lightweight plastic lenses that darken and lighten just like that. It's comfort you can see day or night, inside or outside. Ask for new Transitions Comfort Lenses and see for yourself. They're right in any light. When I bite into a York peppermint patty, I get the sensation. I'm climbing the Alps above pure powder.
prairie snow below an alpine village. Oh, look, a little oompa band. Oompa, oompa. York Peppermint Patty, get the sensation. Watch International Weather, now 42 minutes after every hour, only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. Terminex branch nearest you, call 1-800-TERMINEX. Oh, she's got to notice me when she comes by. I mean, look at me. What's not to, what's, what's not to notice? I'm here. I tell you, if you want to feel good, you got to look good. And if I'm going to run good, I got to feel good. Look at me. I'm designed for a high-octane gas. I love it. That's what I need. This Chevron Supreme with Tech Run. I mean, it makes me run like a champ. It's all good stuff. I mean, it's mind-boggling. No premium outperforms new Chevron Supreme with Tech Run. Chevron, simply smarter. I mean, I don't mean to brag or anything, but I feel stupendous. To reduce knocking and pinging, try new Chevron Supreme with Tecron. Chevron, simply smarter. Gibbles and bits lean. Gibbles and bits lean. We're lean, lean. lean. In Distem, a lot of moisture over the eastern states. We'll take a look at the hot weather coming up. If you have minor arthritis pain, then keep your eyes on this hand, and you'll see something really remarkable. A pain reliever that can turn up the heat on arthritis. Just minutes after applying Ultra Strength Bengay, you can actually see the heat using thermographic photography. That's because Ultra Strength Bengay is the strongest, most advanced Bengay ever, and the only one with the powerful heating relief of three pain relievers, and it'll last for hours. Yeah. Try Ultra Strength Bengay and turn up the heat on arthritis. A cold front once again has invaded the Northwest and forecast coming up. Now wait a minute. New Shout gets out tough stains better the first time. You know it makes me wanna Shout Chocolate Shout Bottle Shout Rape You Shout Come on now Shout has a new first time formula so it's better than spray and wash at getting out most tough stains in one wash. Want a tough stain out the first time? Shout it out with new Shout, S.E. Johnson Wax. Oh, she's got to notice me when she comes by. I mean, look at me. What's not to, what's, what's not to notice? I'm here. I tell you, if you want to feel good, you got to look good. And if I'm going to run good, I got to feel good. Look at me. I'm designed for a high-octane gas. I love it. That's what I need. This Chevron Supreme with Tech Run. I mean, it makes me run like a champ. It's all good stuff. I mean, it's mind-boggling. No premium outperforms new Chevron Supreme with Tech Run. Chevron, simply smarter. I mean, I don't mean to brag or anything, but I feel stupendous. To reduce knocking and pinging, try new Chevron Supreme with Tecron. Chevron, simply smarter. For West Coast information to keep you in the know, watch the Pacific Update, following your local forecast right here, only on the Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast, coming up next, only on the Weather Channel.
Well, now to take a close-up look out west, and again, let's uh, focus first on the satellite picture. It tells a pretty good story here, uh, bringing in some clouds across the Pacific Northwest, some unsettled weather here, definitely some cooler air, and boy... Silvers, where America goes for fish. For the conditions and temperatures across Europe, watch International Weather, coming up right after your local forecast, only on the Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast, coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. relief from minor arthritis pain, turn up the heat on arthritis just minutes after applying. Receive a free key ring thermometer. So call 1-800-829-1717 now with your credit card ready. It's the local John Deere dealer. Well, unbelievable. To order, call the number on your screen or send check or money order. Two CDs, $26.99. Two cassettes, $21.99. Rush delivery available. Living in the 90s is not sold in stores. Excitement. Aren't you wild and well built? Long John Silvers presents the new ultimate fish sandwich, our deliciously crispy fish fillet. I think we've met somewhere before. Tongue tingling banana peppers, melt in your mouth, Monterey Jack cheese, lettuce, and a sassy sauce. Hot. Amaze your mouth at Long John Silvers with the new ultimate fish sandwich. Mm, this is love. Collect a free Willy toy in every kid's meal and see Free Willy 2 The Adventure Home. Go fish with Long John Silvers, where America goes for fish. Find out the conditions before you get on the road. Watch the Michelin Drivers Report, following your local forecast, only on the Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast, coming up next, only on the Weather Channel.
minutes after every hour. Only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. Two big stories in the weather tonight. One, the heat wave. Number two, Hurricane Felix. Good evening. Nashville, and really, folks, the story is here with the surface dew points. Anytime you get 70, that's high. So 80 is extreme, and almost unbelievable, and we're up there near 80 degrees with the dew point. So the heat index today, across parts of the Ohio River, the Mid-South, and the Deep South is going to be anywhere from 105 to 115. Another dangerous day to be outside. Oh, what'll I eat? I'm having a fit. I know. I'm going to get me some kibbles and bits. What? Kibbles and bits jerky? Kibbles and bits bacon cheese? Oh, help me decide. Oh, please, please, please. Okay, kibbles and bits. The original one. Yes, that one. That one. That one is fun. Whoa. I'm berserky for kibbles and bits jerky. Yes, it's jerky for me. But wait. Kibbles and bits bacon cheese makes me weak in the knees. Well, how do I do it? Which one's right for me? Ah, what the heck? I'll take all three. Watch International Weather, now 42 minutes after every hour, only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel.
a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Hurricane warnings were changed to tropical storm warnings along with a hurricane watch from Cape Lookout, North Carolina to Shincoteague, Virginia, including the Albemarle and Pimlico Sounds. Hurricane warnings are changed to a hurricane watch for Chesapeake Bay from Windmill Point southward. Tropical storm warnings and a hurricane watch remain in effect from north of Chincoteague, Virginia to Cape Henlopen, Delaware. A tropical storm watch remains in effect from north of Cape Henlopen to Manasquan Inlet, New Jersey, including Delaware Bay. Reports from aircraft hurricane reconnaissance indicate that Felix remains nearly stationary at 11 a.m. the center. Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm watch valid until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time that covers southwest Ohio and southeast Indiana, including the following counties in southwest Ohio, Brown, Butler, Claremont, Clinton, Hamilton, Highland, and more. The, the watch is valid until 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is also 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, for the following counties in southeast Indiana. Dearborn, Fayette, Franklin, Ripley, and Union. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means that severe thunderstorms are possible in and near to the watch area. Severe thunderstorms contain winds greater than 58 miles an hour and hail three-quarters of an inch or larger. If you're within or near the counties mentioned, be on the lookout for threatening weather conditions and listen to this NOAA weather radio for later statements and possible warnings. A Hurricane Felix advisory at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, hurricane warnings were changed to tropical storm warnings along with a hurricane watch from Cape Lookout, North Carolina to Shincoteague, Virginia, including the Albemarle and Pimlico Sounds. Hurricane warnings are changed to a hurricane watch for Chesapeake Bay from Windmill Point southward. Tropical storm warnings and a hurricane watch remain in effect from north of Chincoteague, Virginia to Cape Henlopen, Delaware. A tropical storm watch remains in effect from north of Cape Henlopen to Manasquan Inlet, New Jersey, including Delaware Bay. Reports from aircraft hurricane reconnaissance indicate that Felix remains nearly stationary. At 11 a.m., the center of Felix was located near latitude 36.0 north, longitude 72.7 west, or about 170 miles east-northeast of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. Felix is is expected to move very little today. Maximum sustained winds are near 75 miles an hour. Little change in strength is likely during the next 24 hours. The hurricane force winds extend outward up to 90 miles from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 230 miles. The latest minimum central pressure reported by hurricane aircraft is 974 millibars, or 28.76 inches. Repeating at 11 a.m., Hurricane Felix was at 36.0 north, 72.7 west. Movement was toward the north near zero miles an hour. Maximum sustained wind 75 miles an hour and a minimum central pressure of 974 millibars. The river forecast from the Ohio River Forecast Center in Wilmington, Ohio. For the Ohio River at Maysville, Kentucky, the observed was 33.5. Forecast for... Friday, 33.5, Saturday, 33.5, and Sunday, 33.5. For the Meldal Dam at Ohio, observed was 14.5, forecast Friday, 14.1, Saturday, 13.9, and Sunday, 13.5. For the Ohio River at Cincinnati, the observed 26.8, forecast Friday, 26.7, Saturday, 26.6, and Sunday, 26.6. For the Markland Dam at Kentucky, the observed 14.5, forecast Friday 13.9, Saturday 13.5, and Sunday 13.3. For the Licking River at Falmouth, Kentucky, the observed was 3.1, forecast Friday 3.0, Saturday 2.9, and Sunday 2.9. For the Little Miami River at Milford, the observed was 4.5, forecast Friday 4.7, Saturday 4.6, Sunday 4.5. For the Miami River at Hamilton, the observed 4.1, forecast Friday 4.0, Saturday 3.9, and Sunday 3.8. For the Whitewater River at Brookville, Indiana, the observed was 
3.0, forecast Friday and Saturday 3.0, and Sunday 2.9. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station KIH-42 in Covington, Kentucky, serving southwest Ohio, northern Kentucky, and southeast Indiana. High pressure remains entrenched over the Mississippi Valley while a weak stationary front stretches across the lower Great Lakes and Ohio Valley, and Hurricane Felix stalls off the eastern seaboard. The combination of these weather systems will keep the very warm and muggy conditions of the past several days lingering on through the end of the week. The threat will continue for afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms across the area. The forecast for southwest Ohio, northern Kentucky, and southeast Indiana, including the greater Cincinnati tri-state area. This afternoon, partly sunny, hot, and humid with a 30% chance of thunderstorms. Visit your local retailer for Ames Lawn and Garden Tools, quality tools for every season. As you know, this business traveler forecast is sponsored by Office Max, where you'll always find drastically discounted prices on 6,000 items every day. In good weather and bad, in the rain, in the snow. Technology so advanced, it even saves gas. The new energy tires with radial XSE technology from Michelin. It's science that goes beyond magic. Find Michelin tires at this dealer near you because so much is riding on your tires. Every so often, the wind carries misfortune. The snowfall can pass. For West Coast information to keep you in the know, watch the Pacific Update following your local forecast right here, only on the Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast coming up next, only on the Weather Channel.
It's now time to make a difference. Watch the Weather Channel, weather you can always turn to. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. Don't let the weather jeopardize your plans for success. Tune in to the five-day business plan following your local forecast right here on the Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. Now past the hour. Good Friday morning. TGIF. Let's take it. Your weather here in the Bismarck, North Dakota area, Interstate 94. But those thunderstorms are now beginning to de-intensify here tonight. That's good news. Yanked in South Dakota, and here we're getting yanked around by big thunderstorms. Houston, out towards San Marcos by morning. So watch it on Interstate 10. Fog in one of the foggiest places in the country annually. West Virginia, Charleston, fogged in in the morning. Also down toward Bristol, Virginia, and Interstate 10. What with those rain showers that moved through earlier? Got a lot of low-level moisture, and that's evaporating back into the atmosphere. So here in Mobile, over to New Orleans, it could be a very pea-soupy kind of a go. Coming up after this message, your local forecast. Stick around. Maybe it's because their frames are welded instead of bolted. Or because their decks are stamped from a single piece of steel. Or maybe it's the fact that they have the highest resale value in the industry. Oh, hey, I always wanted one of these. But the truth is, when people are asked what kind of lawn tractor they'd like as a gift, most say the same thing. information about John Deere lawn and garden equipment, contact your local John Deere dealer. Watch International Weather, now 42 minutes after every hour, only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel.
Stormy weather continues even at this late hour tonight. Good evening, I'm Dave Schwartz. Last night at this time, people were cleaning up after big thunderstorms hit the Phoenix area. Lightning struck near two teenage boys, sending one into cardiac arrest and the other into shock. Winds gusted to 45 miles per hour, toppling trees and power lines, and more than an inch of rain fell within one hour's time. They had a total of an inch and a half of rain in Phoenix, Arizona. Of course, the number one progeny of a thunderstorm, the number one killer of thunderstorms is lightning. More than 100 people are killed in this country every year. Charlie Welsh has more. Lightning is very dangerous and frightening, but lightning is simply electricity in the air. This electricity can occur within a cloud, from one cloud to another, or between a cloud and the ground. The amount of energy released by a lightning storm is amazing. The total amount of energy in a major thunderstorm is greater than an atomic bomb. Cloud-to-ground lightning is the simplest type of lightning to study. That's because the light produced by the elements of the flash can be photographed and examined to determine physical properties of the flash, such as speed, temperature, and pressure. At any given moment, there are at least 1,800 storms producing 100 bolts of lightning throughout the world. On any given day, there are some 44,000 thunderstorms, producing over 8 million lightning flashes. And we've got lightning here tonight, especially here in southeast Texas. Look at this cluster of thunderstorms moving toward the southwest. Produced a tornado north of Galveston earlier north of Beaumont, actually, now heading through Galveston and Houston. These thunderstorms are packing wind gusts to 100 miles per hour. That's damaging wind for sure. We've seen that on a high island just up the coast from Galveston here tonight. Thunderstorms have died out here in the Ohio Valley in the southeast. No upper level support for that. But the monsoon continues here in the west. We've had thunder showers, parts of Arizona, Utah, even into the deserts of Southern California and some severe weather here in North Dakota. The chance for more strong thunderstorms with the lightning hits. Pretty good here in Southeast Texas for the rest of the night, including Houston, of course. Here on I-94, near Yankton, South Dakota, thunderstorms just to your west. And we've had some thunder and lightning around the Denver area too, and that continues back into the mountains down toward Durango and the Four Corners area. Here we go, here's your forecast for Tuesday. Looks like thunderstorms, the low pressure is hanging around the northwest Gulf Coast. This is drifting slowly toward the west. This is not a tropical feature, and once it moves inland, we will be thankful that it does and uh, won't become a tropical feature. But there is a tropical wave down here in the West Indies that will drift toward the northwest and throw some showers into the state of Florida. To the north, looks like you're going to be dry. Atlanta, Georgia, Charlotte, and then on the north side of this frontal boundary, well, no thunder along it, but to the north side of it, drier. Much more comfortable weather. Pittsburgh, New York City, with pretty hot one in New York, and Buffalo too, but we'll look for west to northwesterly winds, sometimes gusty out there. Binghamton, New York, Buffalo already seeing the dry air, and just a fantastic, gorgeous day for you in Detroit, Columbus, Indianapolis, and Chicago. Then here comes our next storm, picking up some of this monsoon moisture that's been sitting out here in the west. All those rains in Phoenix and Tucson with lightning and thunder. Looks like we're going to have to live with that for the next day or two. Pretty warm and humid here, too, in the deserts. Two point temperatures in the 60s. A little more humid as we get down toward the Gulf of Mexico. Now, where's the heat going to be as we head toward the weekend? Well, it's going to be in the plains, but thankfully, a cold front will be sweeping through here on Thursday to cool it down. Very pleasant here from Harrisburg all the way up to Portland. Look at that. High temperatures in the 60s on Tuesday. But some warm weather will be heading your way as we head toward the weekend. Look at that 90 degree line back up to Washington, D.C. here on th Thursday. Hot stuff after a brief cool down of the clouds. You had some.
And here in northeast Nebraska, we're so soaked from the rains that we picked up about 18 hours ago. A flood watch is in effect. Check on satellite imagery, color enhanced here. Here's Nebraska, Norfolk, Nebraska, five inches of rain 24 hours ago. That was a brand new record for the month of August. And there still are some showers out here in western and central Nebraska, but this doesn't look like any tremendous blow up for us. There have been some strong thunderstorms here. Those are well north of Minneapolis, St. Paul. Actually, those are in association with a cold front. Actually, one of three, one, two, a second one setting up, and a third one moving down into the Carolinas. Does that mean we've got a cool end of the week and a weekend coming up, or does it mean more stormy weather? Well, you'll find out all the details coming up. Just a minute. It's as far as Michelin science has ever gone. Our biggest breakthrough since we invented the radial. Technology that brings us to a new level of performance in good weather and bad. In the rain, in the snow. Technology so advanced, it even saves gas. The new energy tires with radial XSE technology from Michelin. It's science that goes beyond magic. Find Michelin tires at this dealer near you, because so much is riding on your tires. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. music here in the Weather Channel. Hi, it's the top of the hour. Dave Schwartz with you. Still talking about heat. We still have about four weeks to go in summer. And, uh, well, the kids weren't bothered by that. They're wearing shorts out here near Little Rock, Arkansas. 
The five-day 100-degree streak finally broke yesterday, but temperatures were still in the upper 90s. These kids were not phased. Kids are not uh, affected so much by the heat. 98 degrees was high temperature in Little Rock, Arkansas on Monday. Madison, Wisconsin. Look at that, approaching the, one of the top five years with days of 90 degree heat or more. Let's see, here we are. Let's see, back in 1955, 40 days, 90 degrees in the summer. Back in 88, 35, 76, 31, 31, 30, 30, 1901, 27, and so far in 1995, we've had 26 days of 90 degree heat. Will it be that hot here in Madison on Wednesday? We don't think so. The high in Madison was 85 Tuesday. Wednesday will be in the 80s too. Cold fronts are just kind of breezing across the northern tier of states, keeping the heat well to the south, like right here in Oklahoma City, 94. One degree warmer here in Dallas and Houston, and it was just plain old 100 degrees hot here in San Antonio, Texas, over 100 here in the southwest deserts. Pacific Northwest looked absolutely fantastic. Sunshine in 74 for you in Seattle. Sunshine in 74 in Burlington, Vermont here too. The northeast quadrant of the country, Temperatures very pleasant for high temperatures. Plus, look at the dew point temperatures, generally in the 50s or even lower than that, indicating that we've got some relatively low humidity. Check on the satellite vantage point. Here in the Northeast, look at the dry. How dry I am. Just a few puffy clouds here during the day in Albany, New York, and Woodstock, New York. Also Woodstock, Vermont, Boston, New York, Philadelphia, and Washington. Just an absolutely gorgeous day. Here's the ridge of high pressure right in here around the back of it. We've got the monsoon, the thunderstorms continue tonight in Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, south and east of Phoenix right now. A couple of puffs out here in Southern California. And it looks like a, a little upper level disturbance from last night kind of rotating around the backside of this thing. This will reemerge out into the northern plains and hook up with a cold front during the day on uh, Wednesday. And we could see some severe weather possible on um, Wednesday, perhaps right in here. We'll be on the lookout for some of that uh, activity. Here in Nebraska, we don't need any more rain. We smashed an all-time 24-hour rainfall record in Norfolk, Nebraska with over five inches of rain. And now there's more of that moisture coming your way. Another cold front sliding across Madison, Wisconsin. You could see a shower or two during the day Wednesday. High pressure reaching southward out of Canada. That's the relief from the heat wave right in here. South of the front, though, no relief at all. Back in the 90s for us, Tulsa, Oklahoma City, and Dallas, all the way over toward Washington, D.C. And then to the south of that, it's warm, it's muggy. Afternoon thunderstorms, you kind of look up at the sky and like, where's the clouds, where's the blue sky? It's that kind of hazy kind of a thing here. Atlanta, down toward uh, Mobile and Houston, Texas, with those warm, muggy overnight low temperatures, daytime highs warming into the 90s once again. But Madison will not be hit with 90. I don't think for the next five days, it's gonna be hot to the south, but temperatures we can handle here, up near Chicago, Illinois in the 80s, and Cleveland, Pittsburgh. You know, when I think of nice warm day, I think of the 80s. That's just what I normally think of, 80s. I think of 90s as being hot, especially when there's some humidity around. And cooler than that, uh, it's jacket weather. Duluth, Minnesota, we're in the 60s now. High temperature in the 70s for you Wednesday. That's jacket weather. And some jacket weather here in northern New England, brushed by some cold fronts. And we're even painting some 50s in here for high temperatures on Thursday. No snow yet. There's the forecast for snow in Barrow, Alaska, however. We'll check those observations in just a minute. Southwest deserts and valleys, pretty hot. Sacramento, Palm Springs, Phoenix, Arizona, Las Vegas, over the 95 degree mark. But the Pacific Northwest, as well as the northern tier of states, Madison, Wisconsin, Madison, New Jersey, looking absolutely fantastic. As you and I head for the weekend, here's a sneak peek of the weekend temperature-wise. No big changes, really. The hot, steamy weather remains in here. Right around it, the showers and thunderstorms. And some of that moisture hooks up with the cold fronts moving from west to east across the country. A shower for Madison, possibly on Friday, and then Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Just isolated activity here Saturday and Sunday. We'll keep an eye on Florida. We're painting isolated thunderstorms here right now, but there is a tropical depression that's centered not far from Miami that is forecast to move toward the northwest over the next couple of days. We'll check the tropics, and they are active here in just a minute. That's a look at the United States through the weekend, at least for most of us, Alaska and Hawaii accepted until 
two minutes from right now. I'm hungry for excitement. Mouth, meet the amazing taste of Long John Silver's delicious batter-dipped fish filet. Crunchy on the outside, mild flavor on the inside.